Howdy folks, I'm uh, changing the brake, front brake pads on my wife's Nissan pickup and uh, I've just pulled all the lug nuts off, okay? And the easiest way to get one of these off whenever they don't come off very often is kick the shit out of it like that so that it'll kind of break it loose and it'll slip right off. And just lay the damn thing down right here so that you got something to set on, okay? See this nut right here? This has got to come loose and there's a backup nut right there which is 11 sixteenths, okay? Just stick your wrench in there and to kind of hold it. And it's a real short bolt. It's not very long. It should come right out. This shouldn't take but about 15 minutes to do this. And uh, the dealerships are charging you out the wazoo for this kind of work. Now, this is the rotor right here. And so far, the rotor is really clean, okay? It's worn down into a little bit, but it can take a set of pads once before you have to change it. Now there's two of those bolts, one on the bottom and one on the top, okay? You pull it out. They're real short bolts, they're not very long at all. But they are kind of a pain in the rear end. See, there's just two of them, see here? Just lay them off to the side. And this right here, get your little pry bar and put it right underneath the edge of the pad right there and pry on it just a little bit nice and easy. And what it'll do is it will loosen up that pad, okay? You don't have to really, you see how it just falls right off? Don't let it hang too long on that rubber line because it can hurt them rubber lines. All right, now this here is your brake pad itself right here. Okay, they, they just slide right out of there. Sometimes they get in there pretty tight though. See, that's your brake pad right there. There's the front one. It goes on in this direction, okay? Just lay it down there just like that. And then reach over here and get a hold of the one in the back and pop it out the same way. All right, now there's a little plate on the back of these. And I guess it's a squeaker plate. We used to have uh, paper when I was a kid that went in them, some of them cars and stuff. And we called it squeaker paper. That must be a squeaker pad. Now here's that little pad thing that was on the pad that was on the back and it just kind of clips on there, okay? It's no big, real big deal. Just make sure it gets on there good and snug and uh, like so, okay? See here, good and snug. That way when it goes back in and it, see the curvature right here? It's got to be the same curvature of this when it goes back in. And it has got to be in the slides like it's supposed to. They're kind of a pain in the rear end, but they will go in there. I'm gonna have to lay down and not damn see it. I can't see with my fingers anymore. I used to be able to see with my fingers. See, I got this shoe back in there. They're kind of hard to get to unless you can see. And when you get to be my age, it's hard to get up and down. So you have to turn stuff off because it takes a few minutes. Now see this one here, I'll go back in the same way. See the little slide right here? Just put the first half in there and then just and they will slide right in there. When you get them right, they'll just fall, almost fall right in the hole. See that? Just like that. Then you take your channel locks or a C-clamp will work just as good, okay? Take one of the old brake pads, set it right here like this. Set one of the old brake pads in there like that, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. That way you don't damage either one of these cylinders. And you're just pushing them back and just pushing them back. That's all you're doing. And then they go back kind of slow and you'll see them go back. See them go down. Yeah. Now a C clamp works better, but I didn't reach and get one. I just grabbed these here channel locks. Take them up a notch, but they'll do the job. See how it's mm -hmm. squeezing them down in there. That's the hydraulic brake cylinders. Oh, okay. And once you get them pushed all the way in, be careful. Do not damage these things, okay? If you damage them, then you got to go to the auto parts again. Because you don't want to put it back together with them damaged, I guarantee you. And these here things here, just push it in a little bit. See, they're spring-loaded. See? And they'll flip right in there. Take your screw, put one of your screws in the top to kind of hold it. Once you get it started... Put the other screw in the bottom. Don't pull it up yet. Just make sure they get started good and straight. 
Okay, that's all you gotta do. Just make sure they get started good and straight. And your brake job is done, folks. All you gotta do is put the tar back on. Make sure they're tight where they won't come loose. And use the proper tool on the bolts. Don't, don't use junk, okay? Use good tools, you know, like good decent sockets. Because if you strip one of them off, they're really hard to get out. Okie doke. I'm not as strong as I used to be, folks, when putting these tires on. So I actually got to sit down here on the ground where I can lift it because I'm not as strong as I used to be. Used to be able to do this shit with no sweat, but for some damn reason, life has played a trick on me. And I don't know why. But there's your brake job, folks. Or at least pads. And the rotor is right there under it. If you take the rotor off, that's all there is, is rotors and pads and stuff of that sort, okay? So don't be afraid to get a hold of one of these because they're not that hard to work on as long as you're working on the mechanical parts because it's just a machine. That's all it is. But if you get into that computer, then you got to go talk to one of the five-year-old kids in the bedroom playing video games because it'll sure drive me crazy. All righty. Y'all have a good evening and keep your powder and your primers dry.